Hello everybody, my name is Madison and welcome to my channel, welcome in my canal. Um, today we have an exciting video, we have a birthday book haul that happened in October, so we're just going to push it to a uh, end of the year book haul because I was like, well, I'm going to get more books <laughs> for my birthday. And so I waited for all of the books that I got for my birthday to come in, and by then it was like midway through November, and so then I was like, well... I might get a couple more before the end of the year, <laughs> so let's just hold off. And now here we are. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get any more. Um, and I have a pretty good stack, a good enough stack <sighs> to make me want to redo my bookshelves again. So, yeah, I don't know where any of these are going to go, but um, they're going to go somewhere. So let's talk about them. Let me show you the stack, okay? It looks like this. Mm, there's this one. All right? That's the stack. So, let's just get into it. I haven't had a book haul in forever. I like I can't remember the last time that I did one. So I'm just excited. And yes, I'm in my pajamas already. Um, because I changed out of work clothes and I put on my pajamas. Why would I not? Why would I not? Okay, let's just get into this. It's chaotic. I am just... I'm excited to talk about these books. Some of these books I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Like, a long time. So let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so we're going to talk about, like, the biggest stack on this stack, um, aka it's a very big portion of it, and that is a six-book series. Um, guys, I'm proud to say I finally have my hands on... Da -da 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 -da! <laughs> I officially have all of the Troll Hunter books now, the original book, the freaking beautiful show adaption book, um, the two terrible graphic novels, and these. I don't have, like, the troll language cookbook or whatever that is, but I'm not really counting that one because I have these, and my Troll Hunters collection is, like, one of my proudest moments. Do I think eventually I might get the other Troll Hunter stuff? It is very, very possible. I'm not going to lie to you, but I finally have these. And if you don't know what these are, these are novel kind of like adaptations of the TV show Troll Hunters, which is like my favorite show of all time. Jim Lake Jr., I love you, okay? And when the show was coming out, they published these. Well, they don't publish these anymore, so they are like limited copies. You gotta find and buy them used. And so I had been looking at them on Amazon. That's where I bought them. Used, okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> Thrift books kind of scares me, and it I don't want to do eBay. So I have been looking at these on Amazon for a while, and when I got my money for my birthday this year, I finally just decided, you know what, buy them now while you still get the chance, because who knows what's going to happen, right? And that's why one of these is a hardcover, because for some reason there's only three available copies of the paperback on Amazon, and they're $175, like $150, $175, and like $350 on Amazon, or some ridiculous amounts, and I was like, I'm not going to do that. So I got the hardcover. Um, and now I own these books. And while one of these is a library copy, which I tried so hard not to get, and I, I took the one that wasn't a library and I gave me the one that was a library. <sighs> yeah. Well, one of these is an old library copy. I'm very glad to actually have these. And yes, one day I want to read them because like after like book one stuff starts to change from canon and I just want to read them like there's a character in here like named Rick or something I want to meet him I think he comes in in this book and if you don't know the Darklands is like my favorite my favorite arc of the entire show anyway what do these consist of because I know this is all you care about I got um the adventure begins which is the first book and then we have Welcome to the Darklands. We have the book of Ga Gaur Ga Gahul. Yeah, this is not from the show. Um, you have Age of the Amulet. I love that you guys can't really see the covers. <laughs> Um, what is this one? Way of the Wizard. We love ourselves some abusive Merlin. We don't. We don't. And then we have Angor, Angor Reborn. So, I have all of these. I think probably sometime in the future there will be a reading vlog where I, like, rewatch the show, read these for the first time, 
and it'll just be an overall blast. Don't ask me when, because I'm still working on a reading vlog that I started in 2021, so we're not going to talk about that. But yeah, I have these finally, and I cannot be happier. I mean, I could be if they all matched, but I can't be happier. <laughs> next thing we're going to talk about is the fact that I now have a copy of 1984 by George Orwell. This is my library copy because I left, I left the copy I have downstairs, but it is a 1994 or 1984 copy of 1984. So it was a donation at the library. I saw it. I was like, oh, I want that because I tagged the library copy. I didn't write in it. I just put tabs in it. And I don't want to have to take all these out and throw them away because that's a, like a pretty decent amount of tabs. So I read this this year and I gave it four out of five stars. Really liked it. There was some stuff that I didn't like. I thought the ending was too long and I did not like Julia and Winston's relationship, even though that's like the a big chunk of the book. So that's why I got four out of five, but I'm very glad that I had to write my final class of the year English paper on this. Um, and I'm just glad to have read it and now I have my own copy of it. I also got a couple of other paperbacks. My granny bought me Automatic Reload by Ferret Steinmetz. I cannot explain to you guys how much I have wanted to read this. This has been on my Goodreads want to read list since 2021, August 2021 actually, and this seems insane. I actually know a person who I would recommend this to, fun fact. Um, but this is just like Meet Matt, a tortured mercenary who has become the perfect shot, and Sylvia, an idealistic woman genetically engineered to murder you to death. And I have seen two types of reviews on Goodreads for this. People who do not like it, and people who would die for it, okay? So I want to read it. It just seems like a ridiculously fun book. And when I saw it at Barnes and Noble and my, I had it in my hands to buy, my granny was like, I'm gonna buy you a book. And I gave her this one for to buy for me. And I appreciate it because I've been wanting this book for a really long time. And then I got I'm very excited for this. I've seen only fantastic things about this series. And after reading, like, oh my goodness, what is it called? What is it called? Wayward Galaxy, I think maybe that's what it's called. After reading Wayward Galaxy, I'll put it right here, and like loving the military sci-fi and also hearing fantastic things about this, I was like, okay, it's time. And now I have a copy of Empire of Silence by Christopher Ruccio, and I don't know what you want me to say about this. I don't even know what this is about. Um, it has, it has so small font, it is very, it is like a very expansive and big sci like sci-fi fantasy world and everything like that, and I've just heard really good things about it, and I just really want to read it, and I also like, like the covers. This is not my favorite cover of the series, but I think the books, I think the covers of these books are just really beautiful, and... I'm just saying, Wayward Galaxy pushed me into, like, military sci-fi, and I don't know if this is military sci-fi, but I still want to read it, so. The final two books are hardcovers, and I think we're going to talk about this one first. So, this is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Um, I found this at Walmart, and it was $14.00. Wow, this says 19, but I bought it for 14 at Walmart. Did I accidentally buy a book for $20 and I didn't even realize it? No, 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 no. It was 14. I remember when I scanned this thing. Do you understand how confused I am? This was $14.99 at Walmart, and I was going to pre-order it for $17.99. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. This is a steal. And I swear, I kid you not, when I scanned it on... Freaking Walmart, it was $14.99 because the overall order was like $25. Okay, not order, but the overall amount spent that night was $24 or something dollars because I had to get a couple of Gatorades, okay? So, I promise you, this is not $19.99, even though that's what the back says. I don't understand what's happening. I'm very confused right now. Anyway, I got this. If you don't have Book Talk, which I don't, 
Um, but I do follow Haley Fam Sarah, whatever her name is in Destiny Sidwell on YouTube, and this book is kind of blowing up. It is like a kind of Hunger Games trial fantasy romance book that is just getting so much freaking love and I'm a sucker, okay? I'm a sucker. You can bully me into into getting a book and reading it, and my library doesn't have this one, and I just wanted it. So now I have my hands on a copy. It's just like, I don't know, Pay Payton? Payton is a thief. She's ordinary. She's a survivor, and she falls in love with Kai, who's a prince and a leech and a freaking enforcer, and there's like trials in this book. I don't know. It just gets so much love, and I love, I love love. So, also like fantasy romance, a good fantasy romance, I'm a sucker for it. And then the final book I have here to share with y'all is Bum Bada Bum, Ire Flame by Rebecca Yaros. So, this is my copy. I've been reading it since the day it came out, and I'm only, I'm only 200 pages, um, 202, I'm sorry, pages into this book. I have thoughts, I have opinions, I do have some disappointment, but, um, it is, like, super pretty. Okay, super pretty, so, at least it'll look nice on the shelf, right? But, yeah, this is a sequel to Fourth Wing, super highly anticipated for, like, an entire side of booktube, and it's, it's just not doing a lot for me. It's probably going to be three-star read, at least right now. I'd say it's a three. I gave the first one five stars, and this is probably just a three-star read, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, but I will say that while a lot of people are like, Taryn, you're being way too protective over your writer who's literally so bonded to you, so if she dies, you die, and then your mate dies, and then her bond dies, like... People are saying he's being too overprotective, and I just have to let you know that um, that this scene right here, page 182, was the best part of this book so far, and I kid you not, I was laughing so freaking hard with Taryn being overprotective. So back off my little dragon, okay? Be okay. Back off my big dragon boy, okay? Because he... He is the entertainment in this book right now, and if you don't like him, then you just don't, I, I, you don't, you don't like good books. I'm sorry, you don't, and that's all I have to let, that's all I have to say to you, okay, because he is the best part of this book so far. Violet, screw off. I literally hate her, okay, I don't hate her. I hate her name. I'm sorry. If your name is Violet, I am so sorry that you have that name. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know why I just like Violet so much. Like, if her name was like Violetta, like Violetta, that would be better. It's just like Violet. I don't think it rolls off the tongue very well. Yeah, Violence is a very cute nickname, Zayden. I'll give you that. But her name is Violet, and I don't like it. <sighs> anyway, reading her name as Violet is a lot less angering than listening to it be said constantly in a 16 hour audiobook which is how I consumed the first book so anyway this is my book haul I hope you guys had a fun time I'm gonna try and post more consistently you guys I'm sorry I just I'm sorry I haven't been doing that recently I don't have an excuse okay yeah I don't have an excuse as to why I've not been posting I just haven't been posting so anyway talk to Mickey for Tita mean video um yeah i don't know i'm also getting back into swedish there's a lot there's a lot happening it's december happy december happy almost 2024 tell me what is the what's the best book you've read this year i have a video coming out with mine um but yeah let me know let me know and i hope you guys like this video uh anyway adios au revoir salut hey do goodbye and i'm sorry this was kind of chaotic but my energy just at nine o'clock at night so love you